All right, so I don't even know where to start with this. After being up 201 Dallas, you know, honestly, I think everybody thought this for the majority. Unless you're a Mavericks fan, then you might have thought the Mavericks were actually going to come back like they did. But after being up 2-0, I was like, the Suns are good. We got this in the bag. We're closing out games. We're killing them. Luka's not able to guard anybody, and we're taking advantage of that mismatch. But here we are today. It is March 15th, I believe, and the Mavericks just came back after being down 2-0. I am beyond sick to my stomach right now. I am going to commit suicide. Not only did I have to deal with the Cardinals getting absolutely obliterated this year by the Rams in the wild card round by like 50 points, but now I have to watch the Suns get eliminated after having a 64 win regular season while being up 2-0 on the Mavs. Just to choke it away. I'm genuinely convinced that Arizona sports are cursed because there's just no way this continually happens. And what's crazy too is in game three, that was Chris Paul's 37th birthday. And ever since then, Chris Paul has disappeared. I don't know what was wrong with Chris Paul, but he did not look the same ever since game three. In games one and two, he was hitting big time shots and clutch moments. He was attacking everybody. He was running the pick and roll to perfection. And he just became super passive and basically a non-factor. I don't even know how to describe what happened there. But what's even worse is Devin Booker was getting blitzed like every play and we still couldn't capitalize. Like no role players were able to step up. And what's absolutely embarrassing to me is we didn't take advantage of DeAndre Ayton's size. Like if we're being real, nobody on that team can guard DA, but for some reason we just refuse to give him the ball. And when we do give him the ball, he looks absolutely clueless for some reason. Like DeAndre, you could dominate every single person on that court, but he just like fails to understand that at times. Well, I guess technically I just answered my own question. And what's gonna be interesting to see is if he gets his max contract because he's gonna be a free agent next off season. So who knows if he's even gonna be back in a Suns jersey. And if you guys do remember last season in the finals, when we were up against the Bucks, it was a 2-0 lead. We just choked another one. Another one. Like this is just super tough, but you gotta give credit to the Mavs because they killed us and Luka Doncic just absolutely balled out and went berserk. And I'm just not gonna lie, I didn't think this was gonna happen. I personally thought we were gonna win 4-1 or 4-2 even before the series started, but after going up 2-0, my confidence went sky high. The Mavs hadn't beaten the Suns since like 2019 and we're on like a 10 to 11 game losing streak, and Chris Paul in his last 10 was like 10-0 against them. So I thought there was absolutely no chance whatsoever that the best team in the NBA for at least the regular season was gonna get eliminated. But you know, here we are. The Suns are going to have a lot of interesting decisions to make, and luckily, I don't have to make them. With DeAndre Ayton being a free agent, with Cam Johnson being a free agent, this core might look a little different, and I've seen people on Twitter crucifying Chris Paul, and they're even throwing trade speculations around him. I don't know where this organization goes, because after a 64 regular season win season, your expectations are championship or bust, especially when Chris Paul's 37 years old, so I just don't know where to go. It's a tough way to go out, and I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below two things. One, I want you guys to let me know how you guys are feeling about this game, whether you're a Suns fan or not. And two, I want you guys to let me know what direction you think the Suns should go, because I don't know. But that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, consider hitting that subscribe button. I typically post NFL and Arizona Cardinals related content, and I post NBA content here and there. So if you're a fan of that, this is the perfect channel for you. But right now, I'm going to go lay in my bed. I'm going to go cry my tears away. I'm going to go throw Marvin's room on, and I'm just going to chill. And like I said, that's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out.